Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Five Second Rule Spin Tensity. This was sent to me by Play Monster. They don't have a designer listed, but the original designer of Five Second Rule is Michael Sistrunk, so I'll just assume that that. Start the random timer, who knows how much time you'll have, and then name three answers for your card. Uh, spin the spinner to find out what to do next. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it, but let me show you. So in five second rule spin intensity, you're trying to score the most points by giving answers under pressure of the random timer spinner that could stop at any moment. You may have you giving more and more and more answers. Um, this thing needs three AAA batteries to work. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna turn it on now. Now, how the game works is whoever is the first player uh, draws a card. Uh, so here, for example, uh, places to put a candle. Uh, so, uh, as soon as they are ready, they press the timer. They can, okay, uh, a, a birthday cake uh, on top of a, uh, on a nightstand, on a, in a, in a church uh, service, uh, in, in the pew or whatever. And then when they're done, what they have to do is they spin the spinner. Okay, next card. So they get to go to the next card. Positions on a baseball team. Uh, uh, pitcher, uh, catcher, uh, first baseman. I, I, I don't know. Uh, and then you spin more. Uh, okay, so, okay, now, if it had gone to two, let's say I had to do mythical creatures. So it's like I say unicorn, uh, centaur, and um, uh, fucking <laughs> mermaid. And then if I spun it and it landed on two or three, I would have to do two or three more. Uh, so then I'd be, uh, two more, uh, uh, elf, uh, well, that's not really a creature, but whatever, uh, or, uh, <laughs> it's, it's harder to do than you think, but, um, anyway, you have to name two more, and then you spin it again, and then if it's next card, then you get to go to the next card, and you, you do as many of these as you can, uh, until the timer runs out. Now, if I spun it and it went on next player, like, let's say I did traits you don't want in a coworker, uh, and it's like, oh, well, stubbornness, um, being, l they're late, all the tardiness, and um, uh, unreliability or something like that. Then, uh, if I spun it and land on the next player, then the next player gets to go. And you just keep going. Uh, each time you do next card, you get to do another card. Uh, otherwise, that's it, pretty much. All you have to do is every time you finish a card, spin it, see if to do more, or get to go to the next card, or pass to the next player. Whoever gets to 10 points first, meaning 10 cards, is the winner. And that's the game. So there's honestly not a lot to say about this game. It's it's very fun. I mean, I love the spinning mechanic because it's hilarious watching someone have to either keep listing items, the timer and everything makes the pacing very frantic. That sort of burst of stress and the potentially desperate and hilarious answers you get is a real treat uh, to watch. Uh, if you're looking for a party with more fair rules, like if you're very concerned about that, uh, you won't be interested in this one. This one's very silly. There's obviously a lot of luck involved. You might end up rolling, uh, spinning a three every time, but that's funny. You know, if that sounds funny to you, of like just watching someone fluster and have you know fail after they keep spinning it like three times in a row, uh, this is the game for you. Um, it's just a game that's just fun to play. It's hilarious. It's a solid choice. I think some of the cards feel a little dated or inaccessible or definitely run the risk of becoming dated not too far into the future but there's still a very interesting variety of them it's not just one type of subject which i like and sometimes it can be funny to see what cards will absolutely stump certain players for me for example it's music categories i don't know shit about music so i just end up being like uh uh which can be funny in its own way anyway like i said this is just silly it's fun not for those who want serious gaming but if you just want to laugh and have a good time and watch your friends blurt out nonsense or scream in agony as the timer runs out, this was surprisingly fun. Uh, yeah, it's kind of just like a big toy with cards, but it's it, it, it was always a success when I brought it out. This is fun.